Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. I'm Steve Wilkes. And we're outside today, so you may hear wind, you may hear mowers, you may hear birds, Gold you may fences. hear wind chimes. We don't care. We don't care. We're <laughs> because, outside. Because it's not raining. Uh, hey. we've, we've had a ton of rain recently. Uh, we appreciate all the emails and the Facebook bees and everybody asking about how we are. Uh, where we are, uh, the bad weather recently was just rain and tons and tons and tons of rain. And we won't go into all the details, uh, except to say that our hearts go out to those who have lost their lives and lost their properties uh, in the areas where that were much harder hit than where we are and there's yeah. nothing like I mean we were whining about all the the water in our yards and the, there was water into the house we were I, mean, I was whining on Facebook and all that about that and you know the you know the saying there there's an old saying that uh, you know I was sad about having no shoes until I met the man with no feet I mean and and you see the footage from from Alabama with yeah. those huge tornadoes coming through and people lost everything including their lives so we're just, I said, Steve, we need to get together uh, to have a little celebration of life. Yeah. And you know, uh, it's a true story. I'm not making this up. Last night when I was done with my day and I was lying in bed and I uh, read an email that one of our viewers, a soldier in Iraq, sent us, mm. uh, who enjoys the podcast and makes his life a little more normal. So it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. At any rate, I was thinking there, lying there thinking, how very fortunate we are and that we needed to do a video very quickly and so when you called me this morning I mean I dropped everything I was doing I was building a 747 in my shop <laughs> <laughs> and uh, out of toothpicks uh, out of toothpicks <laughs> and I said I can't do this anymore I gotta go shoot a video <laughs> because it's great I mean our houses you know we have we have friends mm -hmm. who didn't lose they didn't lose a loved one, they didn't lose their house. But we, there are people that I know here in Fayetteville who lost basements and right. roofs and things like that. Right. And then we wake up this morning, yeah. and um, so it seems a little odd to be sitting here drinking a beer and, and making jokes, but you know, we gotta celebrate our lives as well, mm -hmm. and that's what we're doing, so. Uh, so what we did today, I had the, uh, the Belgian wit that's been in the basement for almost two weeks since we brewed it the last time we got together. Uh, so I said, let's just bottle that. Yeah. And so we did. So kind of take us through the procedure of how we bottled that beer. Well, first I drank a six pack. <laughs> you have to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not really, Mom. Um, no, well, you know, the first thing you gotta do, though, know, you've gotta make your, uh, you're priming sugar, mm -hmm. and so you use corn syrup, corn, I mean, uh, corn sugar, right? and I use honey, but we, we made a priming liquid out of the beer, and mm -hmm. that's something else that we do differently. I just use water, mm -hmm. and you use your actual yeah, beer. Yeah, we use the auto siphon to pull off some, some beer, first yep. of all, to put in the hydrometer, so we could test that. Oh, I forgot about that, yeah, we did. And then, and then to put with uh, three quarters of a cup of uh, corn sugar mm -hmm. in the pan, and we let that, you have to sterilize that. You have to let the, you know, simmer for about 15 minutes. 10 or 15 it, minutes. 10 or 15 minutes, yeah. and it'll be good and sterile, good and sanitized. And uh, you don't have to worry about cooling that down. That's something that always worried me when I first yeah. started brewing. I was like, am I gonna kill all my beer because I'm pouring <laughs> boiling water? You're not. No, so the, the volume of that is so small that when you start to rack your beer into the bottling bucket, you can uh, put your hot boiling uh, priming sugar in solution in there with it, and uh, you know you can mix it around if you want to, uh, and then you just bottle. You put it. Yep. And what we do is we we uh, put the bottling bucket over the open door of the dishwasher. So if we spill some, it's a great technique. No right? harm, no foul. Yep. Now that that and we tasted a bit of the the hydrometer sample. There. It was good. And it tasted the coriander and the orange peel really came out in there. Mm -hmm. It's still green, and yep. it's still way cloudy, uh, which you know Belgian wit is going to be cloudy. So it'll be interesting to see how that uh, how that conditions out uh, in the bottle. Yeah, and when when we were doing that, we were talking about how it's interesting that 
as you gain some experience tasting green beer, mm -hmm. you can begin to pick out the things that are really wrong with it mm -hmm. and the things that are just green. Yeah. And, well, there's nowhere else to go with that story, but, <laughs> yeah. but brew a few well, batches and you'll get it. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's sip on a, a, a beer that uh, is not green anymore. This is your Belgian. You're not quite sure what it is. Yeah, this is my, I'm going to call it Belgian Blonde. Uh, this is essentially the Belgian brunette recipe with uh, clear candy syrup instead of the uh, dark candy syrup. Uh, it's 10 pounds of German pills, 4 pounds of malted wheat, 1 pound of clear candy syrup added 30 minutes into the boil. Uh, I rested uh, at 154 in the mash for an hour. And uh, two, uh, th this is five five and a half gallon batch it came out to be. I added one and a half ounces of Styrian Goldings at 60 minutes, and that's it. That's all the hops. <laughs> uh, the original gravity was 1066, final gravity 1009, and the uh, uh, yeast was White Labs 530, which is a Belgian yeast, I can't remember which one it is, with a starter size of two liters. So this is 7.6% alcohol, so it's, it, it is uh, up there. It smells Belgian-y. You know, candy oh. syrup is playing down at the Gentleman's Club <laughs> tonight. I think she now goes on at 8. Now, this is a beer fit for a queen, wouldn't you say? I don't think so. <laughs> Not We're all up in arms because uh, it was reported that uh, beer was banned from one of the royal wedding receptions because beer was not a beverage that was fit to be in the presence of the queen. That's my stare. Yeah, read between the lines. Anyway, this is a beer that, it, that that would be wonderful for a wedding reception because it is it is golden, it is sparkly. Uh, look at the foam on the lacing on that, the Belgian lacing on that. It is an it is a nice uh, light effervescent beer. It is a mm, champagne beverage, and it would go very well in any in any high class uh, situation. Well, I used to be an Anglophile. Not anymore. I'm going with the French. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> well, I, I hope that uh, I hope that our amount of levity is appropriate in this yeah. time because uh, you know it could be us next. You never know. What getting kicked out of the Queen's reception? Yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> but but you know what I mean. Uh, I do. The, we had a brush with uh, you know there were some people who who drowned you know yep. not far from here from driving into a flooded road. So uh, life has its turns and twists, and you just never know what's going to happen. And you have to celebrate when you can, because you never know That's right. what will happen next. And we, well, hope, we hope that you are in a position where you can celebrate now. Uh, and if you're, not, if you're not, we're hoping that you get through these tough times and you come out on the other side, uh, because there will always be a brighter day. That's right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy brewing. Come and visit us on the web. At basicbrewing.com, you can find archive lists of both our audio and video podcasts on home brewing. You can also find our DVDs, extract brewing and partial mashing, stepping into all grain, low-tech lagering and decoction mashing, introduction to wine kits, and our 2011 Brewer's Logbook. Drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Write to james at basicbrewing.com, steve at basicbrewing.com, or just use the contact form on basicbrewing.com. Hey, I'm going to bat your legs. <laughs> <laughs>